It's harvest time in Ivory Coast, but this rice is not destined for the dinner table. This women's cooperative is producing high quality rice seeds, which they sell to a government run seed bank. In a country reading from a decade of civil war, these farmers are playing a key role in reducing poverty. Madame Nandia Fofana is president of this co-op. They started growing rice for seeds two years ago and are already reaping the benefits. Before, it was only suffering, suffering, suffering. There wasn't any food to eat. But now, selling these rice seeds, we can buy food and we are doing well. Nandia's group is growing Witte 9, a productive and more pest-resilient breed of rice, and have almost doubled their yield and their profits. For Nandia, a widow with three children, more earnings means more independence. Especially in a country where women are responsible for growing over half the food, but rely on men for access to land. Thanks to this rice, I can build a house, buy a motorcycle, and can do what men can do. Now we are the same as men. To ensure the seeds are of high quality, Nandi needs a government certificate and must adhere to strict regulations from the choice of terrain to the correct way of drying the seeds. Together with 30 other rice producers from different zones, Nandia was selected to attend a two-day intensive training course and had the opportunity to share experiences with fellow rice growers. So far, over 800 farmers have been trained to grow quality rice seeds. All seeds produced are sent to a government warehouse. Here, machines separate the good grains from the bad. After a third and final quality check, they are stored until next planting season, when they will be distributed to thousands of farmers. After 10 years of use, the quality of the seeds has dramatically degenerated. This training has enabled farmers to get good quality seeds and has meant that their yield has increased greatly. It is not only rice. Maize, yams and cassava cultivations are all being improved through this project, which is part of the European Union's 1 billion euro food facility and is managed by IFAD, the UN agency dedicated to rural development. Taking advantage of the good prospects for security and political stability, project activities are making up for lost time. In Ivory Coast, fighting poverty goes hand in hand with keeping peace.